Medicines are supposed to come in from just Kutuka right. International Airport and then Tema Harbor. That's where medicines are supposed to come in. So once you register the product, we ensure that it's safe for use, the quality, and then um, we know there are no there are possible side effects, but it's indicated to be used in our market. Right. It will come through these ports, ideally. That's where it's supposed to come. Our men are there. Um, NACOPS is there, customs are also there. So they will check this street with your records and things before they release it onto the market. But we also have very porous bodies which are unmanned. So that's where we are getting the problem from the illicit supply. The people, we've done swoops nationwide. So you ask how widespread. And it used to be isolated cases, but I think it's now widespread because the nationwide rates, we have all arrested the itinerant peddlers or the drug peddlers who are not supposed to be selling medicines. They carry them with other products, the aphrodisiacs, in polythene bags in the markets. We even have come across people who are doing pedicure and manicure, and now they have tamadol. But they wouldn't sell to anybody at all. They know the people they sell to. So this is rather becoming more of a national problem, not just related to the FDA, the regulator, NACOP who handles illicit drugs, or Pharmacy Council who does the practice issue. They would insist that it's sold as a prescription only medicine. But the law enforcers have to come in. Right. BNI, Yoko, uh, national security. So in our trainings and nationwide trainings that we started, we involve all of them. The pharmaceutical training, we are coming to do another one in Accra. Everybody is there. So that we can share ideas. Real-time information sharing is critical. Kwame mentioned that it's involved in criminalities, yes. organized crime, terrorism. So we all can't say it's just a regulated product and it's FDA's jurisdiction. No. Right. We take absolute responsibility. But somebody should give us the lead. Where is it coming from? And when we do the arrest with the police, they should be prosecuted. Right. Our laws have penalties. If you are caught with unregistered products or you do not have the expertise and you are peddling in medicines, it's 10 years or more deal term or 20,000 fine that you have to pay. So there's been some um, imprisonment. I think in Kumasi prisons, they've convicted two ladies okay. who were caught peddling. The rest of them that have been arrested, they are all with the police and it is the police that does the prosecution on our behalf.